What's going on guys? Cool 200 here back with another uh, NASCAR video game review. Today we are going to be reviewing NASCAR 2011, the game. Yes, sorry. Wow, okay, sure. Just text me in the middle of the video. Thank you. Anyways, yes, today we will be Checking out this game right here. I know it's kind of blurry. Once again, I'm sorry. Yes, to the first game developed by Eutechnics. So, after... I'm going to let this play here real quick, honestly. And that was the promo for NASCAR 2011, the game. Now, as I was saying before I was interrupted by all the intros, uh, this game would come out after EA Sports dropped their contract in 2010. So in 2010, we did not get a NASCAR video game. Uh, a lot of NASCAR fans were pretty upset. I was not into NASCAR video games. Uh, at the time, this is my first ever NASCAR video game that I ever got. Got it for Christmas um, of 2010 or whenever this game came out. I don't know. Pretty sure this came out in 2010 though. But um, no, nah, I don't know. Maybe it was 2009 where we didn't get a game because NASCAR 08 was released in 08. So it was either 2009 or 2010 where we didn't get a video game. Pretty sure now it's uh, 2009. So. Uh, after that, you Technics would pick up the contract and they would make NASCAR the game 2011. Now, personally, I do have a little bit of a special connection uh, with this specific video game because it is my first NASCAR video game. A lot of memories, a lot of a uh, lot of uh, uh, bad moments as well. Uh, I do like this beginning soundtrack. Very iconic, I think. This song is amazing, but. Uh, besides this song that is playing in the background right now, you guys could probably barely hear it. Um, I'm just kind of trying to let you guys hear it a little bit. Um, the rest of the soundtrack, so like the rest of the songs in the soundtrack, they're, they're not terrible, but they're really not, you know, I don't honestly pay attention to them after this one, so. But let's go ahead and look at the, uh, menus here. Not sure why it's doing that. It doesn't normally do that. This controller is heavily broken. Wow. Yeah, that's my. There we go. I'll just use the. Okay, the analog stick on my controller is broken. Awesome. Anyways, you have career career mode. It was uh, it was uh, below mediocre. Uh, career mode is where you race one of the drivers. Uh, I just picked Jamie McMurray because I switched the the uh, uh, cars around last night. I just went with McMurray. Um, career sucks. You go through all the tracks, but you race as a driver. You don't get to actually build a team or, like, uh, you know, just try and build a team up. Kind of like, uh, you did in, uh, NASCAR, uh, 08 or 09 that I reviewed earlier. So, career mode really took a step down. I think you Technics fixed it in NASCAR... Uh, in sideline and then they kind of fixed it in NASCAR 14 and left alone in NASCAR 15 pretty much so um, yeah career mode is below mediocre single player is where you race you know by yourself against the AI on uh, certain difficulties uh, the difficulties are your choice you have easy medium and uh, hard I think maybe legend is in there but we'll take a look at that here in a little while multiplayer you know what that is you race against a friend at your own house, or you could race online with a buddy. 
uh, online is still up as far as I know in this game. Let's just go ahead and take a peek and see if you Technics left NASCAR 2011 the game. Um, it looks like they did. We're going to go ahead and hit quick race. I just want to see, is this still running to this day? I know EA took down their servers. Um, it's usually after a year. And they did. They left these open. So anybody who's a huge NASCAR 2011 The Game fan, you can still race online. I think that is pretty cool. So there's that. There's a lot of loading screens in this game. You saw it took me two loading screens just to get to the online session. Uh, this is unfortunate. Uh, the car, you just look at the car basically. You can view the car, you can get some paint schemes, design a car, and of course you can tune your car. And then you have driver. Uh, I think that's the driver that is in career. Yeah, driver stats, NASCAR pins, pretty much just all the other kind of uh, stuff that they uh, put in the game and then options. That is like your game settings, controls, driver assist, sound and uh, display, and of course your credits. So, with that being said, uh, menus is very, very, very simple. You could see right there, this is your men menu screen. This is uh, where you go to pick what you want to do. Very simple, very easy, just like NASCAR 08, NASCAR 09. Very, very nice that uh, they just simplified it. You're going to see in the next game that we review after Unleashed, that is not what happened. They took it way too far, but that's a video for a whole other day. As you can see, we are going to a loading screen here just to select a car. Yes. So we're gonna look at the cars here. I'm gonna go all the way back. I don't know why some of these are locked. I swear to you guys I had all of these unlocked, but whatever. Uh, this is my paint scheme. I know they don't show it. I don't even remember what it is. You got David Rudiman's errands from 2010. These are all the 2010 cars. So you got David Rudiman, there's his Tom's. I don't know why it's locked, like I said. You got David Rudiman's uh, West, uh, Best Western. Ryan Truex in the double zero as well. I'm pretty sure, yes, that is for the Nationwide. You can maybe see the Nationwide logo, probably not. Uh, you can kind of see it on screen. There's Jamie McMurray's Bass Pro and his McDonald's. Again, don't know why it's locked. Kurt Busch is last year in the two blue, uh, the two blue deuce car. Mark Martin and his uh, primary GoDaddy. There is his car quest. There's his Delphine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another GoDaddy, this paint scheme is sick. So is this one, I really wish these were unlocked. I had them unlocked, I don't know what happened. And that one may be one of my favorites. I, I That one's so good looking. And then you have David Reagan and his UPS or UPS, however you say it. You got Robbie Gordon in the speed car. Of course you got the nationwide car. I don't know why it says Cup Series on her car. But that is her nationwide car of the GoDaddy 7 for Junior Motorsports. You've got Kevin Conway in his 07 car. You've got Casey Kane in his number 9. Uh, Budweiser, but it's, this is the family friendly version, so it says Casey Kane on it. You've got Denny Hamlin's FedEx Express, FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight, and FedEx Office. Remember when uh, Denny Hamlin had beautiful paint schemes? Uh, for the uh, FedEx cars. Well, not anymore. These are long gone, and I really miss these. You got Brad Keselowski in the 12 Penske Racing Dodge. Jennifer Joe Cobb from the Camping World Truck Series in the, is in this. Tony Stewart in his uh, Office Depot and his Burger King. You got Greg Biffle in the 3M. Trevor Bain in the 16. You got Matt Kansas in the Valvoline. You got Kyle Busch in his M&M's. Interstate Batteries, and Pedigree. You also got Elliot Sadler and his Stanley Tools, uh, his Hunt Brothers Pizza, and that one, I can't see the logo. You got Joey Logano in his Home Depot and his GameStop, beautiful paint scheme right there. Bill Elliott in the 21, Jeff Gordon on the DuPont, National Guard, and Pepsi Max. You got Kevin Harvick, I don't know what that says. I thought that was a Shell Pendler, but that says something else. That's a weird scheme. I don't... Shouldn't that say... Sh that's such a plain scheme at the back. I don't know. There's something wrong with that one. Maybe they couldn't put Shell Pennzoil in the game, so they put RCR on the hood. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know. 
Now Todd Bodine and his uh, beautiful 30 car right there. Got the Caterpillar car of Jeff Burton. Along with this one. I don't know why this is locked. What a beautiful scheme though. And Clint Bourne, the Cheerios, BBMT. Um, the Hartford, beautiful one right there. And my favorite though, a hamburger helper car. I love that scheme. I don't know why. You got Travis Klopp on the 34. I think that's Long John Silvers. On, I, I think. It's got the colors. You got David Gillum and the uh, Taco Bell. Ryan Newman and the Army. Uh, Tornado. Haas. That's that's a good one. But I, I do like his Tornado and his, uh, his Army. You got Juan Montoya and the Target. AJ Allmendinger in this one. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not even trying this. Valvoline. And that one. I could barely see that logo. Marco Sabros in the Clorox. Kingsford. And that one, I, again, I can barely see that one. That one's really cool, though. Jimmy Johnson in the Lowe's. And it was Lowe's Cobalt. Again, I don't know why it's locked. Whatever. Eric Amaral in the 51. And Michael Waltrip in the 51. That's kind of weird. Is Eric Amarola in the uh, Nationwide or... It's either Nationwide or uh, Camping World. Martin Truex Jr. in the 56. Bobby Labonte in the 71. Sam Hornish Jr. in the Mobile 177. You got both of the Red Bull racing cars. Scott Speed and Brian Vickers. You got Dale Earnhardt Jr. and his Amp Energy and his National Guard. You got Paul Bernard in the 98. Carl Edwards in the F, like, and then you just got these random uh, cars that they kind of just threw in the game. I really don't care if these are locked or not. So, some of these are cool, but they're just kind of, you know, pain schemes. Now, we're going to look at the 2011 real quick, and then we will jump into the actual gameplay. I don't, again, I don't know why it's doing that. I keep forgetting to use the analog stick. So, we're going to restart career mode because I never play it, and I really don't care. Uh, where do I do that at? I don't, oh, it's in career. I guess I didn't show you the options in career. You know, I began 2010 career practice. Uh, you, you, you get it. Sponsors restart career. Yes. 2011. Let's go. Again, I don't really care. I just want a real racer, not the 53. I guess you could do your, like, own kind of car. But you don't, again, you don't really get to build the team, I don't think. I don't know. I haven't. I never did career mode in this. I always assumed that you go out on the track and you just race. You know, I'd rather do single player, even though the career did mean something. Here's another loading screen, by the way, to get the car loaded in. God, NASCAR 2011 really love their loading screens. But anyways, we're gonna head back to single player. We are gonna pick a car this time, though. Again, oh whoa. As you can see, we got different schemes here. Let's go all the way back to the front so I can show you them all. That's going to take hours, decades, years and years to get back to the front. Here we go. And as you see, all these are unlocked. Can I mention? All these are unlocked. you got David Rudiman's Aaron's, his Tom's, and his Best Western. Jamie McMurray again with his Bass Pro McDonald's. Here's Brad Keselowski and his start in the Blue Deuce. Along with Elliot Sadler from the Nationwide Series. Got Casey Kane in his Red Bull car. That one's so gorgeous. Mark Martin in his GoDaddy car quest. Quaker State. That's a new one. Mark Martin doesn't have as many schemes in 2011, but I love his 2010s. David Reagan in his new UPS slash ups car. Ricky Stenhouse making his way uh, into the game from the Nationwide Series. There is Robbie Gordon with two schemes. He's got his orange and then his reverse for black. Then you got Dan Kirkpatrick. There it says that she's from the Nationwide. They fixed it. It does say she is from the Nationwide Series now. Josh Wise also making it from the Nationwide Series. Uh, Marcos Ambrose with the Stanley and DeWalt. Beautiful. Got Denny Hamlin with his FedEx Express. FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight, and FedEx. Beautiful FedEx office. Jennifer Jo Cobb again makes it back. Uh, basically just an update with the 2011 body. Uh, you got, uh, Tony Stewart in his office depot and his mobile one. Michael Walter getting in the 15 with a weird, uh, blink eye car. I thought he would be in the Napa, but Greg Biffle on his updated 3M. There's Matt Kenseth in his WX. Kyle Busch in his 18. I will say never unlocked his NOS car. I don't know how to unlock it, but his NOS car has not been unlocked for me. 
So that's the only car I have not actually unlocked. Uh, Joey Logano and his plain orange um, Home Depot car. Trevor Bain in the Motorcraft. There's Kurt Busch in the 22 Pennzoil. Jeff Gordon in the 24 Drive to End Hunger. And his DuPont and Pepsi Max. There's Paul Menard in the Peak 27. Kevin Harvick in the Freaky Fast uh, Chevy for the RCR Racing. Todd Bonine makes it back from the uh, Truck Series. Uh, Jeff Burton in the Caterpillar. Clint Boyer only has the Cheerios. David Gilliland switching to the 34, but still having that Taco Bell. Long John Silver comes back with new colors for Travis Blockle and a new number. Ryan Newman back with Army, Tornado, and his Haas car. Juan Montoya coming back with Target. Hey, John Bendinger. Just getting back to Best Buy. Valvoline and U.S. Air Force comes to A.J. Allmendinger. Bobby Labonte now in the 47 gets to Kingsford and Bush's Beans. Jimmy Johnson in the Lowe's and his Lowe's Cobalt. Martin Schuch Jr. in the 56 Napa car. Andy Lally makes it in the game. Who remembers Andy Lally? Uh, Brian Vickers in the 83. There's Eric Almarola from the Nationwide Series driving the Hellman's car for Junior Motorsports. There's Dale Jr. in the 88 amp and National Guard. Kevin Conway switching his number to 97. There's Carl Edwards in his Aflac car. And Ryan Truex making it all the way from the uh, Nationwide Series to drive the 99. And then, once again, all your randomized little paint schemes. I don't know if they changed them. I don't think they did. They all look about the same. Um, and uh, for some reason, once again, they're all unlocked. What sense does this game make? None! So I am going to drive a car. I don't know what car. I might drive Kurt Busch. I don't know. Nah, we're going to go with David Reagan. I know, I know, people hate David Reagan, but you know what? I don't care. So... Again, uh, this is kind of normal to get your loading screen here. It actually didn't take too long. It actually took nice time. Now, I think I raced at Dover in the other two, if I'm not mistaken. Or uh, maybe I raced at Dagon one. I don't know, but we're going to go to my favorite track. This is Dover. We are not doing 50 laps, okay? We're going to do like 20. Because that would be a very long video and a very frustrating video. So this gameplay, you're going to see it here in a little bit. We are going to have cosmetic. We are going to have cautions. Can I just have cautions? No, I have to have black flags too. I hate black flags, they're so annoying. Opponents 42, I am gonna have the difficulty to medium, and I am gonna have the race to custom, I guess. I don't know what that means. Here are my settings. I only have uh, traction control on a, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. I, I think it'll work all right. I don't have a setup. I never knew about setups until NASCAR 15. So yeah. Here's my stats. You got races 18, average finish 16th, wins 7, top 5's 8, top 10's 9, laps led 44, fastest laps 15, and rival victories, which is something cool that they did in this game. You get a rival uh, 14. I will show you the rival here in a minute. Usually it's one of the back markers like Jennifer Joe Cobb, Ryan Truex, uh, Todd Bodine. It's not really a cup driver That's actually that actually was in the cup series. You know, it'll probably be Eric Almorola. I'm going to call it right now. It's Eric Almorola. That is my rival. Beautiful scheme. Who called it? Eric Almorola, my rival, because he is not a cut driver. So the rivals kind of suck in this game. They always run mid-pack unless you get a big wreck. Of course, there's the wrecking in this game. If you, get, if you hook on to somebody... On their back bumper, you will not get off of them until the straightaway. And even then, you can't really get off of them. So I'm going to try and be very cautious here. See? It hooks you, and then it puts you in the wall. This game has stupid racks. That's what I hate about this game. It has stupid racks. The spotter in this game was really bad until they uh, updated it in 2011. He used to talk about, like, hot dogs wanting a fan or whatever. I don't know. It was kind of weird. I'm trying so hard right now just to pass Mark Lerner. Oh, shut up. I don't care about slingshots. Even though, look how much momentum I got. I'm going to let Kozlowski in. I'm trying to pass. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
What the frick? I mean, I guess that is my fault. Okay, no, that is definitely my fault. But, jeez. And then my, oh, Michael Walter just had to plow. Oh, he gets into Ryan Truex, jeez. Good job. And somehow Brad is still up here. He has less damage than I do, and he wrecked. That's another thing I like about this game. Look at that damage. That damage module is awesome. It used to have the hoods fly off of them, but I think after the update, they stopped that. But I know the splitters will fall off, obviously. And it just kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like paper, if you know what I mean. Like, does that not look like just crumpled paper? I don't know. I, you, look at this. I literally cannot get off of him unless I jam the brakes. WTF! Oh, look at that pass. This is medium difficulty. I could probably put it on hard. Oh, I'm gonna get on Ryan Newman. No, don't take him out. Don't take me out. Oh, my... Are you kidding me? Look at this! What sense? What sense does this make? This doesn't... Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Junior. No, why am I spinning him out again? I mean, I barely touched him. And then I got into Junior. That made sense. But then when I came back into Edwards and pretty much body slammed him, that's what doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. And then, of course, I had to wreck Junior. They actually showed more of the re more of the caution than what I got to see. I didn't see Junior spin out uh, the 82. Or, no, that's the 83 in uh, 2011. Sorry, Brian Vickers. That is my apologies. Alright, I don't want to be on the outside, Edwards, but I'm going to anyways. Come on, get to the bottom. Yes. No. Oh, look at that. Look at... Oh, no. Ah. Are you kidding me? What? This... I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I get that that should have probably been a penalty, but I didn't even come down pit road. Pit road penalty suck in this game. Oh my gosh. It's still a fun game, but if you get a pit road penalty, you're freaking done. Look at this. I'm a lap down now. What a joke. This is why I won my first race after two years of playing this. Granted, I was eight, but jeez. No, I wasn't eight, but... Okay, I was like ten. Okay, maybe thirteen. Anyways, I'm trash at this game. That's why I play NASCAR 15. And NASCAR 15, I will have a setup. I will win the race at Dover. Because I'm a beast. You guys heard, I was barely on the throttle. Oh, and if you hit the wall just right, you'll spin as well. I might as well just show you that since, uh... Since, uh, yeah. Oh, dang it. That was stupid. I saved it, though. I'm trying to show you what I mean, but... I also needed caution to get back on the lead lap, so... Oh, no, I hit the apron. Come on, show them! Well, it's not going to, so whatever. I do want to spin out, though. I don't want to be... I don't want this to be boring. Oh, another good thing about this game is when you hit the wall, the wall flexes like a safer barrier should. So I think that's really cool. I'm not going two laps down to Jimmy. I can tell you that right now. No! I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you! No! What?! What? That's some bullshizzles. I will. What is this? This game is so dumb. It's either I'm like completely trash, and I played a lot of NASCAR video games, okay, and I'm good at every one of them, and I am not good at this. So either I'm just straight trash, or this game makes no sense. Where's the 33rd place, or 43rd place guy? Is that me? 
Or was that me? I'm two laps down now. Nope, I'm sorry, Elliot Sadler. I know you're probably gonna come back to NASCAR, but you know what? In this game, it doesn't matter. I mean, look at that. You can literally just spin them out by riding their back bumper. I mean, that's crazy. Well, this one. Oh, I missed. Oh, shoot. I ran into wall. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I can just spin him out by tapping him on the bumper. What sense? What sense, man? I can already tell you right now, this game gets like a, a freaking... What did I give the worst NASCAR game? Like, a six? This gets a six and a half. Okay, because it's a little better than NASCAR 08. I really am terrible at NASCAR 08. I know, I said I'm good at every NASCAR game, but no. This one gets a six and a half. Uh, this game is absolute trash, in my opinion. No, I like the game. I like the game. It's just very frustrating, and a lot of stupid shit happens. All right? I mean, honestly. I do want to wreck my rival. Damn it. No, I don't want to take my time. Dude, we have three laps left. I gotta get back on the lead lap. I have to. What a joke. Use what? Oh, you're so lame. Oh, come on, I missed again. I'm in the wall again, god dang it. No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sure, I'll bring up the caution. That's okay, Kevin. That's okay. Thank you, Conway. Fucking jerk. Oh, this video is going to be 30 minutes long. I didn't want it to be 30 minutes long. But this game does take a while. What is with the pink lug nuts? David Reagan. I like pink, but lug nuts? Oh my, maybe that's not real. Maybe that's just the game. Sorry, David. Or that, no, that's David, right? Yeah, that's David. Sorry, David. But no, how, how can you wreck somebody like this? Like, okay, I guess I get it, but I don't know. He just back. I can't even skip the replay, but he just kind of backed up into the wall. He's all good. He wasn't running very... What? Oh, never mind. I get it. Okay. We're going to try and win the race with two to go. Uh, not going to happen, but the celebration in this game is you get... Uh, uh, what are those points called? NXP points on the, on the right side here. Don't wreck him again. God damn it. Okay, didn't bring out a caution. Sorry, guys. But yeah, you get NXP points for passing people clean like this. There you go, I get some NXP points from that. You get NXP points from lapping people, even when you don't really lap them, you just pass them a lap car. And burnouts, you get NXP points. I don't know what the NXP points do. I'm guessing that's more career mode stuff. Or no, that's actually how you unlock the cars. Uh, you get, like, ranks and stuff, and you can unlock the cars. Did I really just get a caution? What did I do? Or what did they do? Okay, I barely ran into Robbie. I thought he had it saved. He did have it saved. The idiot comes back up in front of Andy Lally. Oh, oh terrible crash here at Dover. Terrible crash. Oh my god. Robbie Gordon got lifted up by Elliot Sadler. Terrible crash. Anyways, yeah, the NXP points. They can unlock you things. Like paint schemes, pins, that kind of stuff. I think they're kind of useless. I mean, I like the unlocking cars kind of thing. It made me play the game a lot more than than I should have. But honestly, it, without I mean, if you didn't have to unlock cars, this thing would be non-existent. This was the only time they really ever used it. Uh, by the way, if I win this race, that probably is a cheat, but it's okay. Hey, we're gonna make it the white flag. Yay! Go, Hamlin. No, Logano. They saved it. They're all right. Come on. Go, car. Look at the boost. I'm going to come home freaking second if I don't hit the wall. Oh, well. 
maybe. I'm gonna cut down here on Jeff Burton, and I'm gonna get him. Jimmy Johnson wins here at Dover. Not a surprise, Jimmy Johnson's pretty good here at Dover. Anyways, guys, that was pretty much my NASCAR 15, or NASCAR 20 alone. Here is the ranking. You can see I get tons and tons of points for rival victory, uh, finishing second, um, getting clean passes, leading laps, dominating. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the game obviously is okay. That pit road penalty really killed me. It was probably my fault, but... Okay, it is my fault. I went below the line that the cone was, or I went below the cone, but I didn't head towards pit road, but whatever. It is what it is, but you do get five second trivia questions. Um, I think they're all right. They pass the time if you really want to guess them. They made them a little bit better and a little bit more time on NASCAR, uh, NASCAR, whatever it is, NASCAR and sideline. But anyways, guys. That is my video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and let me know what is your best and worst memory for NASCAR 2011, and do you still go back to this game for the nostalgia? That's why I'm here, to bring the nostalgia back, to review this video game, and give you the, opin the opinions that I have. Once again, 6.5 out of 10. It's an above average uh, NASCAR video game, but it's still not that great. The graphics are good, the soundtrack is meh, the home screen or menus is pretty good. Um, there's nothing that really strikes out to me though about this video game that says, wow. <sighs> Thank you, car. I appreciate the loud muffler. Anyways, guys, that's my video. I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, I'm sorry about the recording and how it's kind of shaking every time I move the table. Uh, NASCAR, uh, uh, what is it? NASCAR Heat Evolution and up. Will be a little better because I will be able to record on the PS4, but I have to just use my iPad as kind of a, a recording thing. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, let me know uh, everything down in the comments. Follow me on all my socials. A lot more active on there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.